Hey guys, this will be a quick summer fall 2021 tulip poplar update. To get caught up, check the description for links on past videos related to these poplars. <laughs> he almost got him one there. He chases these guys all around the yard almost every day. Alright, here's the big guy. He looked decent this year, but as I mentioned in a past video, we had a late frost, so he didn't fill out quite as well as he has in the past. And surprisingly, the smallest poplar had the most growth of all the new trees this year. Uh, it filled out quite nicely. And then we're into September, and this shot here shows how thin this tree is. Usually you can't see through it like that. One of the concerning things about the smaller poplar is the cracking in the grafted area. I'm not sure if that's normal for a grafted tree, but I am keeping an eye on it, even though I doubt there's not much I can do about it. And here is the new lead I established back in a past video. As you can tell, the tree didn't care about the lead I established. It established its own. The leaves are looking a little rough. I didn't water any of the new trees as much as I should have this year. I should have watered probably once a week or every 10 days, but I maybe watered once a month. As a result, none of the new trees look perfect uh, as far as the leaves are concerned. I am just noticing as I'm doing the edits that I got a lot of video of the two trees in my front yard and not many videos of the one in the side yard and the backyard. I'll try to remember that as I, and put more focus on the other two trees as I'm doing the Spring 22 video. It's windy days like this that require me to put stakes in all the new trees. I had a dogwood in that exact spot a few years ago that blew over about five months after I planted it, resulting in its early demise. So that's why I stake every tree and leave the stakes in for about a year, year and a half. Alright, so here's a shocker. I had someone comment on one of my other videos letting me know that the three new trees that I have are not Liliodendron tuliferas as I had thought, uh, or as I'd indicated in past videos, but instead these are Chinese tulip poplars. I was honestly surprised when he mentioned that, but after you do compare the pictures of the leaves on Google, he's absolutely right. Uh, so apparently I have a few Chinese poplars in my yard. As you can see from the, uh, the leaf on the big one, a uh, totally different shape. Uh, I'll post, I'll pop up some pictures here showing that, and these trees didn't have much leaves left because we're late in October, but you can tell that's a Chinese tulip tree. <laughs> so quite shocked. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout. When I asked for the, uh, when I went to my um, nursery and asked for tulip poplars, I guess they gave me tulip poplars. I guess I should have been a little bit more specific on the type of tulip poplar I was looking for. But as you see this one here, same thing, Chinese tulip poplar. So this tree here is holding up quite nicely. Um, again, in the past videos, we called it Lieutenant Dan because I had a root ball situation when I planted it. Uh, but there are some areas on the tree that's not producing leaves, but the other areas are doing fine. So I think it's going to be okay. I'm uh, interested to see how it's going to look come springtime. Now we're getting into fall time and we have a lot of leaves on our hands. This year I decided to blow them into a few piles and mow over them about five or ten times. Last year I burned them, which took way more time than it should have. All right, that is the end of the update video. If you enjoyed it, think about giving it a like, and also subscribe if you're interested in seeing future update videos on these tulip poplars.